What a 73. Make car drivable, change oil. <laughs> That's pretty specific. Racing was not a good idea. My car is a mess after one session. I have to sell it before it falls apart. Repair the components that will be enable me to drive it again. Hmm, no clues. Apart from the oil, there are no clues as to what is wrong with this car. I cannot believe this better be a female race driver because if that's a guy and he took that round a track then you know as far as I'm concerned we can open that door and I'm gonna push that thing out myself but on the basis it's a woman that's fine it doesn't really look like a racing car if I'm honest but let's start with the usual did he mess up the electrics did he mess up the ignition system did he thrash it and break all kinds of bits and pieces? Beep, 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 beep. What is that, that shows? What is that? Oh my good grief. Make the car drivable for two and a half thousand dollars. You, sir, are having a laugh. What do you... Seriously, what do you begin with this? Right, the ignition module's done over. These are orange. They're not drivable. Are they drivable as orange? I am not replacing all of this car for two and a half thousand dollars. But the plugs are... That plug's red. 33%. Is that classed as drivable? Ignition module is utterly screwed. <laughs> has absolutely... Sorry, she has absolutely ruined her car. We've, we've worked out it's not a he. Because I wouldn't be repairing this if that was a he. So she has totally screwed her car over. Oh, come on, I can't replace all this. I can't even repair all this. I see your fuel filter's gone. Actually, while we're here... What state is your oil filter? Everything's a 33%. Two and a half grand. What can we get away with for two and a half grand? I've not even got to the wheels yet. Oh. I sense a, a missing component here on this exhaust. Can you see that? Didn't expect that, if I'm honest. I did not expect a missing component. Let's get a feel for how broken all of this is. There's another... No, it's there. That is there. I thought that section was missing as well. Oh, wow. What else is missing, then? Has something else fallen off? I mean, is this is this what this is going to be? Spot the missing component. What about your rubber bushings on both sides? That one's there. Is that one there? Yeah, everything is just 30-something percent. Um, what is that? That is... The muffler from a standard car. I hope we can repair that. It's not a problem. I reckon these wheels are going to be trashed. That's going to be expensive. Um, muffler rear. It's going to be that one. This is where you hope you get it right. Um, he said change the oil, didn't he? He did say change the oil. Right, we can get that on. Oh, the uh, filter was wrong, wasn't it? I remember. I knew it was round here for a reason. 
Fuel filter is 47, so that should be okay. Fuel pump is totally screwed. Can we fix the pump? For some reason, you can't fix the pump with your hammer. I've not worked out why. Fuel pump. That ain't cheap. Oh, we need spark plugs as well, don't we? Get rid of that fuel pump. We'll get two spark plugs while we're down here. And an ignition module. Um, spark plug. Two spark plugs and an ignition Where are you? module. That's quite a lot spent already. Two spark plugs. Ignition module. And we've got to do the oil yet, so let's drain the oil now while we've got the thing in the air. Thing is, what is drivable, eh? What what is it class as drivable? Uh, let's line this up to about here. Let's push it forward. Lock it in place. Drain the oil. Wow. It had no oil in it. For real? Let me just do that again. Disassemble. <laughs> what the hell? How is that even possible? You went racing, you lost all of your oil. That is slightly concerning. You'd have to have, like... Either a massive leak in your engine block or no sump plug. Inspect some of this while we're here. 33%. What a surprise. I think we'll have to take it for a test drive in a minute to find out what's wrong with the wheels and stuff. Right, what have we got to put back on? Most of the car, basically, but it's all back inside, I think, so we'll just lower this bad boy down. Reassemble it. Let's get your filter back. I'm going to assume that's okay. I'm a bit worried, but everything else seems to be on 33%, so quite frankly, if... If it's not okay to be on 33%, then we're in trouble. Because it, it literally can't be done for two and a half grand. And maybe that's the game plan here. Maybe it's just going to cost me a small fortune. To be honest, I think this car should just be scrapped. <laughs> it's probably going to cost more to repair it than it's worth in scrap value. But hey-ho. Right. Let's get some oil in. Of course, if the oil filter does need replacing, that's going to be a problem because I'm filling it with nice clean oil. Let's see what that's like. A bit more, please. I'll do. Right, what's left? Fuel filter, oh, fuel filter and fuel pump, that's at the back. Durr. Let's get the ignition module back on, which is done. Ignition cables, they're back on. Let's put the engine cover back on while we're here. Because I'm stupid, I'm going to have to pop this back up. Has this ticked any boxes yet? Alright, let's tick one. <laughs> Change the oil. We've done that. Now I've just got to fight the camera to get this thing back on. Like so. Right. Has that fixed it? Oh my god, it has. Wow. I was not expecting that. I was expecting to have to take it out for a test drive to work out what else was done. Incredible. Amazing, actually. 73, done. 
What a 74, $7,000, oh my life. Replace all, or repair, replace all repair or worn out parts. Three things need to be sorted, the clutch, oil and exhaust. I don't have time to explain, it must be in perfect condition when I return. Clutch, oil and exhaust, so I'm thinking exhaust manifold is going to feature in this, if this is seven grand. Clutch. Right, we can start. Oh, it's a V6 as well. Oh. Oh. Right. Oil's going to have to come out. Uh, he said oil, so I'm going to check the oil filter. Oh, the oil filter's fine. That's okay. It's weird because... Oh, come on. Whenever you replace the, the oil, you naturally replace the oil filter. And here we are, about to replace the oil, but not the filter, which is kind of weird. Okay, front wheels and the rear drive shaft is going to have to come off in order to do this. Let's get the uh, drive axle off this side. Shiny chrome wheels, dude. Shiny wheels. Of course, if you curb those wheels, it's not good. Um, oil we can do on itself. What was on the list? Clutch oil and exhaust. Right, I think we're going to have to pop this up now. Or are we? Do we need to take those wheels off? Do we, do we, do we? No, we don't, I don't think. Need to take those wheels off. I think we can just start by taking off the exhaust system. I'm just going to go straight for it. I'm going to take the whole exhaust off because I just know... For seven grand, I just know the manifold is going to need taking off, and you cannot even inspect that unless you've disassembled the whole exhaust system. So I'm just not even going to bother inspecting all of this lot. I just hope it proves me right. But if it doesn't, you know, I would have been in a guessing situation anyway. The alternative is to inspect all the way down to the manifold, not know what status the manifold's in, and then um, if the job's not completed, find myself having to... I do need to take... Oh, you Dilbert. I do need to take these wheels off because I need to take both drive axles off and then the differential and the drive shaft. Yeah, the alternative would be to just not know what, si what the situation was with the manifold. And then find myself with an incomplete job and wondering why. Okay, it's that side. And we got that side. And then we pop it back up for the diff. Shaft comes out. Cool. Right now we can go around the front and get at the gearbox and the manifold. Okay, let's get down here, get the starter off. I wonder what's wrong with this gearbox. I mean, it could just be a very expensive gearbox problem. No, no, it's not. It's 95%, so it must be, it must be a clutch issue going on here. The release bearing's knackered. What's the pressure plate on? Pressure plate is also knackered. The friction plate is also knackered. Cool, right. Now, let's take this bad boy off. whole lot of bolts. 24 to be exact. 12%! My hunch was correct. It, oh, I'm so pleased about that. Wow. Um, no, I want to scroll all the way to the right. Okay, there's nothing here that we can repair. It said replace or repair and I can't find anything repairable. So, we are into some expensive purchases here. The exhaust manifold V6 is going to be expensive. Then we want a release bearing, a friction and a pressure plate. 
this is going to be a hell of a parts list. Right. Clutch, friction plate, pressure plate, and release bearing. Then we want an exhaust manifold for a V6. Which again, it ain't cheap. But he is paying seven grand. Um, let's just get this right here. Release bearing we bought, pressure plate we bought, friction plate we bought, exhaust manifold V6 we bought. We are now left with the exhaust situation, okay. This is all V6 components. It's everything but the rear right, isn't it? Look, rear right, the middle, the pipe, and... Hang on a minute. <laughs> Exhaust pipe A, but not B. Oh, this is sneaky. We want the cat. Exhaust pipe A for a V6. I'm going to do this piece at a time. I don't trust this. Exhaust pipe A for a V6 is what we want. We also know we want the catalytic converter for a V6. Because these parts are expensive. Very expensive. Exhaust pipe A, V6 can go. We bought a cap for a V6. That can go. Muffler, middle and rear left. Muffler, middle and rear left for a V6. Muffler, middle for a V6. Muffler, V6, middle. Muffler, V6, rear left. That was so easy to get that wrong. Muffler V6 middle, muffler V6 rear. Right, done. That is the parts list, I believe. Um, what was the situation with this one? Did I check the exhaust? Sorry, the exhaust. I'm going to talk about the oil. I did, I drained it, didn't I? So I've got to put oil back in. Um, let's do that while we're here. Now I think you'll find the V6 needs a lot more oil than that. Like maybe that much. A scientific amount. Wow, that oil's not clean. I just <gasps> No, 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 no. Did I I didn't drain the oil. I didn't. That's why it's all horrible. I did not drain the oil. Okay. Derp. Right, let's get this done. Let's drain the oil. Wasn't a nice clean colour, was it? And uh, looking about here. Where's the engine block? There it is. Uh, there you go. Oh, cock. I think that's missed. Oh, dear. I think that missed. Did that miss? I th oh, no, it went in. It didn't charge me. That actually looked like it totally missed. Right. Okay. Um, let's bring it back down. Now let's put the oil back in. Which should be nice and clean. More than that, pal. that. Wow, this thing is thirsty. Cool. Nice clean oil. Let's go back to assembly mode. Let's get the clutch back on. Pressure plate. Release bearing. Gearbox. Feels like there should be some bolts around the bottom side of that thing, but there's not. It just it's all top side bolts. Okay, now let's get your manifold back on. Shiny brand new manifold. Five thousand million screws and bolts. Good job we've got all the upgrades possible, isn't it? Okay. 
Do we got anything else to do here? I don't think we do. I think we need to pop it back up now. Reassemble the drive shaft and the exhaust system. Let's get that on. Let's get that drive shaft back on. In goes the cats. Meow. Exhaust pipe A. Closely followed by the middle. And then let's do the diff while we're here. The rear right will go back on. The rear left, right, okay, now let's just have a quick look where we are with all this. Wheels, drive axles, that's absolutely fine. Uh, that's done! Awesome, that's actually done. So it's just an assembly job now. Wicked! That's good. I'm chuffed for that one. Okay, let's just get that back on. Wheel, your super shiny chrome wheel. On the other side. I'll put the engine cover back on. Just remember to put the engine cover back on. <laughs> Axle right. I kind of think the wheel should be front, you know what I mean? When you take the wheel off, if you take a driver's side front off, it should make you put that wheel back on as the driver's side front. But at the moment, you can just pick any wheel you like and stick it all over the place, and that's wrong. Um, are we done? Right, engine cover. Yeah, you might move front to back for tyre wear and stuff, but I think we're done. Oh, inventory left. Wow. Big job again. These these are final jobs are big ones. Order 74 complete. Order 75. Repair brakes perform chip tuning minimum 20%. I want to add some more power to my car. The brakes are also to be examined. I think the replacement is way past due. Three and a half thousand dollars. Okay. Well, I think we'll do the chip tuning first. Let's go and play with some scales. If we could try and look into the correct ratio. And we could just ramp it all the way up. Hmm. I never work out whether to be methodical with this or whether it really is just get lucky, punk. It kind of feels like trying to solve a mini Rubik's Cube but without the mats behind it. Come on. That looks so close. Oh, that's so close. Look at that. That's <laughs> almost 40%. It was just a, the one on the right was just slightly off. I'll figure out what I'm doing. What I'm doing wrong here. I seem to get it quite quickly last time. Bring that one down. That one up. That one up. No. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> right. Now it's just a matter of bumping them all up at the same level.
You find the proper mixture and then you just turn up the gas. Like, why would you ever stop at 20%? Just crank it all the way, baby. Max, max, max. Let's write that bad boy. Plus 45%, I reckon. Yep. You should be pleased with that. Right, so that's now ticked. Cool, repair brakes. So we're going to have to take all four off, I think. Another guy with really, really shiny chrome wheels. Calipers, 21, okay. Brake pads, 11. Oh, hang on, brake disc as well. Let's not forget that. Compared to the previous two jobs, this will be quite straightforward, I think. Previous few jobs have been felt like end game jobs. This just seems like, you know, replace some brake pads and brake discs. That's two done. So, you know, I, I think this is going to be the last mission, last career mode um, mission. I don't know if there are more coming in a future DLC. I think this is the last one though, but if the future DLC brings more, then I will of course cover them. All I know at the moment is it's going to add 4x4s. Four so obviously that's going to be a transmission change. Four wheel drive. But will it bring more career mode missions? I don't know. Okay, we can rep all of these. And then I think we just need... Eight pads, four discs, or something like that. Yeah, there was nothing else. Uh, brake pads, brake discs. No, sorry, four discs and eight brake pads. Yep. Pretty straightforward, really. Right. Two. That's four of those. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sell the rubbish. Oh, I so wish you could change the sort order in here. It would make life so much easier. Did I just sell? No. That's okay. I thought for one fleeting moment I had sold a good item then. <laughs> I was slightly concerned. Reassemble as quickly as possible. I don't know what happens after this. If this is the last episode, what actually happens at the end? It's been a long journey, if it is. We're we on episode 24. 75 missions. Crazy. I remember starting this game. Yeah, I've had some difficulties on the way. Struggled with a few bits and pieces. On the whole, though, I've enjoyed playing it. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I assume that's why you're here at the last one. Makes you wonder where they're going to go with this game. Are they just going to create more DLC for it or branch out into Car Mechanic Simulator 2? Because I think it's done reasonably well. I don't know what the sales figures are like, but I think it's done okay. I think that's that. Awesome. Job 75 is done. Let's find out what happens next. Order 76. Have fun driving the special car. Congratulations on completing Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. You can now check out Endless Mode. Remember to try out the Special Town V6 4x4 mode. Try out the Special Town V6 4x4. Whoa, look at this. Nice. Red leather interiors. Let's take it for a drive. Okay. 
Oh, this thing goes! Look at this crazy! This thing just accelerates like it weighs nothing. Oh my god, it slides. Okay, to hell with the course. This is too much fun. This is like a go-kart. With really slippy tyres. Look at that, handbrake turns on a sixpence. Oh, this is crazy. Does it stop though? Does it stop? No, it doesn't stop! You can't make it stop. It doesn't want to stop, it likes to go. Oh man, that thing reverses so quickly as well. You have to almost handbrake your way around the chicane. It likes to go forward. Turn, not so much. It's crazy fun though. I wonder if I can get it to... Can I drift this thing? <laughs> well, it's not going to be set up for drift mode, but... I don't want to go over the line just yet. I want to keep going. This is too much fun. Oh, I wish I could use a wheel. Let's see if I can get this thing into a drift. With the keyboard and no drift setup. Oh! Man, the barriers. It doesn't want to turn into a drift. The front wheels are too grippy. Oh, but God, does it go. Watch it, watch it, watch it! Oh! That's no way to treat my car. Oh, I, I really want a better test track now. This is too good. I want to. I want ramps and stuff. I want to go GTA on my on its ass. And break it off the line. Oh, great fun! Well, there we go. That that is the end of Career Mode Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. 75, 76 orders. It's now just endless mode. I don't know what endless mode is all about particularly. I don't know if it just carries on and on and on, or whether there's just an endless number of orders, but that brings us to the end of career mode. I'd like to hear your comments. Did you like that series? Do you want me to carry on with Endless or do it as a separate series? Oh, wow. I can't believe it's done. I've really enjoyed that series. Great value for money. Um, give me a thumbs up and leave your comments, guys. Let me know what you thought. Until then, until next time, take care, guys. See you soon.